everyone welcome to the next session on uh, sap integration should cloud platform integration okay so we are clear with our requirement now we will start the development of our uh, integration flow so for that uh, if you have not already subscribed to the sap integration shoot uh, i recommend you to do so and come to the design develop and uh, operate integration scenario that is cloud integration so after you enter here uh, if your scenario is custom what do you have to do that you have to go to uh, design tab so if you will expand uh, this these are the discover design monitor uh, business to business scenario and setting so to develop the custom scenario we we are coming to the design tabs and after that what i will do that i will create uh, one new package okay so this time i'm going to create one new package so for that you have to click on the create and give the name as i'm going to give it the name as uh, advanced integration so I have given the name. You can uh, you can provide the short description also. So I'm going to provide the short description as uh, advanced integration scenario. And after that, uh, when you are done, uh, you can maintain the version also. But I'm not going to do the versioning here. I'll save it. And uh, inside the artifacts, uh, we are going to design our uh, integration flow so to create the integration flow you have to click on this add and come on the integration flow and uh, you have to give the name of the integration flow so here i'm going to give the name as uh, uh, same as uh, advanced integration okay and uh, after that i'm going to save it so that's it so my integration flow has been created now i have to uh, make it according to our requirement so first of all uh, we have to check our requirement like what is uh, our requirement so we have already checked on that uh, now we will uh, integrate we will uh, design the integration scenario okay so <clears throat> we have the center system we have the receiver system and we have the integration process in between okay so now what we will do that we will check our requirement and accordingly we will proceed so for that let me put it in the edit mode i put it in the edit mode and let me go to the paint so first of all what we can see that uh the file uh, sent by the sender system will be csp and received by the receiver system will be json so obviously we have to do the file conversion but uh, in between the middle block of the integration scenario is mapping message mapping like uh, the data should be mapped to the correct field okay so for that uh, let's add a message mapping here so i am going to search it here so message mapping okay here i have got the, that so let me keep it here so message mapping so before message mapping what we have to do that let me expand it I know this scenario is going to be a bit longer so i have to expand it okay let me put it here and start here so first of all we are getting here csv and uh, from csv we have to convert the uh, json so let's check that whether we have any csv to json conversion or converter or not so for that uh, let's check that csv so what we have to do that you can see here we have csv to xml converter and uh, after that uh, we don't have directly csv to json converter okay and also uh, message mapping uh, work on the xml format so we have to put the json uh, uh, xml to json convert converter after the message mapping so for that i'm going to put the csv to xml converter here <clears throat> okay and after that let's check that we have xml to json converter converter or not so xml to okay we have xml to json converter here so let's put it here okay so first what we'll do that we will convert our csv file into xml because message mapping deals with the xml format of the file and after that we will get the xml output and uh, the 
XML uh, file will be converted into JSON and that will be received to the receiver system. Okay, so it looks very simple, but it is not that simple. We, we still have uh, so many work to do in this. We have to generate uh, XST, that is XML schema definition for the XML to uh, CSV to XML converter and XML to JSON converter. And also that will be used in the message mapping. And after that, what we have, we have, uh, uh, we have one more thing that is, uh, uh, mail adapter so mail adapter configuration we have to do uh, after everything is done we have to do the mail adapter configuration at the end to the receiver so when this uh, this ends uh, so after that only the receiver should receive the mail so this is the mail adapter we have configured and uh, we don't have any receiver system <clears throat> so for that uh, what you can do that if you have the receiver system in the real time scenario you can put a request reply here you can put a request reply and that you can configure with a receiver system okay so this is the receiver actual receiver system okay and you can configure it here and you can give the like uh, whatever the requirement of your uh, project suppose it is http uh, so here you can give the endpoint of that address but right now uh, we don't have any receiver system in the in this uh, dummy scenario so you can ignore this block like uh, what will be done the, like when the sender sends uh, anything, uh, let me take it as HTTPS. So from a uh, sender will be send uh, any CSV data from HTTPS adapter and that will go to the XM, uh, CSV to XML converter. So CSV file will be converted into XML uh, and that XML file will go to the message mapping uh, to map the correct fields. Like uh, suppose I want field one, uh of data into field two okay uh and field two of data into field one so this is why mapping is being done so uh in after the mapping uh releases the data uh, for the receiver so that uh, xml file will be actually converted into json and that json file will go to the uh, receiver and after the receiver receives the data it will uh send a reply uh, because this is what request reply does. So in the request reply, we send the uh, request and we get a reply. So that reply, like if a receiver system is sending any response, so you can uh, get that response and that response you can directly send to the uh, mail receiver. Okay, so for that, we have to configure the mail adapter. So in the mail adapter, we have to give the SMTP server of the mail and after that uh, from end two of the uh, mail configuration we have to provide and also we can uh, give the mail body also so let's see uh, what this uh, this uh, xml to json uh, converter does what this csv to xml converter does and how message mapping is done so for now uh, i am keeping this re uh, request reply with the receiver system but this is not in the in our scenario because we don't have a receiver system we are doing everything internally uh, we don't have a sender system as well uh, so first of all, the first thing I have to do that, uh, this start, I have to delete and I have to make it as a timer initiated. Okay. So I will make it as timer initiated. I have already explained about this timer in, uh, in my first course. So I'm going to connect it. And for the timer property, what we have to do that, uh, I'm selecting this and, uh, I'm going to schedule it like uh, whenever I will deploy it, it will run. Okay. Uh, you can schedule it as per your requirement also. Like you can uh, schedule it to recur. You can schedule, schedule it uh, on a day or you can uh, click on run once. So when you will check the run once, uh, when you will deploy, uh, it will just run. Okay. Now coming to the CSV to XML converter. So what does this require? Let me remove this one because we have only one block. So this requires actually the XML schema. So that XML schema we have to uh, design. And after that, we have to give the uh, path to the target element in uh, X XST. So XST we have to design. And uh, in that we have to give the XML schema name. And also this record marker in CSV. So that we don't require. And uh, it is asking that what is the field separator in CSV. So this is a standard file. So it will have the comma. So for the, uh, let's uh, move to the generation of the uh, source XST and target XST because we have different field names, uh, like here, the source system will be sending some different field and receiver will be, uh, 
specifying that in the different uh, format so for that we have to design uh, xml schema definition 